So let's say a Facebook ad costs one cent each time the ad is shown to a user. So one cent per impression. And the expected number of impressions is a thousand per day. And for those exposed to the ad, 1% clicks through. And for those who click through, 2% actually purchase something at your website. And then on average, a purchase creates a thousand in revenue and generates $20 in profit. So there are 30 days a month. So in this video, we're going to show if an advertiser has a target ROI for its ads, how to figure out the most the advertiser can pay the platform to run the ad. So how much the advertiser could pay the cost impression in order to reach a specific target ROI. To conduct this estimation, we're going to need to use an add-in in Excel called Solver. And uh, if you haven't done it, let me first demonstrate how to set up Excel's Solver. So go to File and click Options. And then in the pop-up menu, click Add In. And here at the bottom, you're going to see these Manage, etc. And the default here, there's a list here, but the default is Excel Add In, so you don't need to make a change. Just click Go. So once you click Go, Excel is going to display these four things. And the tools we're going to use are Analysis Tool Pack and Solver Add In. Check them and then click OK. So on your specific Excel, you only need to do this once. And each time in the future, when you start your Excel, Excel is going to automatically load the Solver and the Analysis Tool Pack at the end. You don't have to do it again. Another note is you cannot use Excel in the browser to set this up. So the Excel software has to be installed on a computer to do this. So now we have set up Solver. Let's go ahead and look at the problem. So this setup is very similar to the previous Excel example that we have discussed. So you have a cost per impression. And then in this case, let's just put in the number we had before. It's one cent, so it's a $0.01. I'm going to give it more digits just to see it more clearly. So it's a $0.01, so it's basically one cent per impression and a thousand impressions per day, 1% click through rate, 2% conversion rate, average profit per sale, and number of days per week. And then we can calculate the number of impressions per month. It's equal to 1,000 times the click through rate times the conversion rate. So you have to first click through and then you can be converted. So these two are multiplied together and then times the number of months. That gives us the number of conversions per month. That's six. So profit is basically equal to the number of conversions each month we have times the average profit per sale. That's 120 and the costs are equal to cost per impression times the number of impressions per day times the number of days per month, enter, and that's $300. And then the return on investment is equal to, parenthesis, profit minus the costs close parenthesis, divided by the costs in cell B12, and then enter. We know from the previous calculation that this number is negative. Let's use percentages. We want, the target we want is to have a 10% ROI. And in this case, we want to find 
the costs that we can pay the advertisers in cell B3 in order to reach your targeted ROI of 10%. So to perform this function, we're going to use Solver to do it. So the way we do this is go to Data and click Solver. So now you're going to see this interactive menu. We're going to set the objective is the Add ROI. So click this cell, B13. So we're going to set B13 and it needs to reach the value of 0.1. So we want B13 to take the value of 10% by changing the variable cells. So this is what we are going to use Solver to help us calculate. And by changing the variable cells of the cost per impression. So we want to find out what the cost per, per impression needs to be for us to have an ROI of 10%. So that's the calculation we want to perform. Here, uh, usually we need to set a constraint for the cost per impression for our solver to find a solution. Excel is going to, by default, make unconstrained variable to be non-negative, so which means it would force the cost per impression to be a non-negative number, to be at least zero. So we just need to add a, a upper constraint. Click Add, and here the cell that we need to constrain is the number we want to solve. So click this. So the cell in cell B13, we need to set the constraint. There are different constraints you can set, less than or equal to, equals, larger than or equal to, integer, binary, or the difference. Here we want to set the upper constraint, so we're going to keep the less than or equal to. Here we know that at 0.01, at 1 cent, the ROI is already negative. So for ROI to be 10%, the cost per impression really has to be lower than one cent. So we can just set it to be less than or equal to 0.01. Really, we can set a larger number, say we set it as 0.1, uh, 10 cents, that'll be fine too. It's really just for solver to know where the range to be. And click OK. And uh, once we set that up, now we can ask a solver to solve this for us. That's the beauty of using Excel. We don't have to solve this. And just click Solve. And after Solver finishes, you're going to see this menu popping up. It says Solver found a solution. All constraints and optimality conditions are satisfied. You can keep the Solver solution or restore the original value. Here we want to keep the new solution and click OK. So as you see here, after Solver is done with its job, what you're going to see is the ROI has changed to 10%. It has reached the target ROI that we want to set it to. This is 10%, and Solver has found out the value, the cost per, the cost per impression needed for us to have a 10% ROI on advertising and the cost is $0.0036 per impression. Uh, it's a slightly over a third of a cent, 0.36 cent per impression for us to have this. So in order to turn from a minus 60% ROI to a 10% ROI, we need to pay significantly less on the cost per impression in order to reach that. That concludes this video.